Noche UFC is going down in Las Vegas this weekend, and I'm pumped to see who comes out on top. I've partnered up with DraftKings, and they got an offer that is perfect if you're looking to get closer to the action. Right now, all new customers that bet just $5 will instantly get $250 in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. When you sign up, use my promo code SUNNIN. DraftKings, the crown is yours. That's $250 in bonus bets instantly after betting just $5. Staying on the action and use your $250 in bonus bets on DraftKings same game parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun at DraftKings with Daily Fantasy and have a shot at all the prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers, use my promo code SUN and bet just $5 and get $250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SUN and only at DraftKings Sportsbook. All right, guys, I am in a stairwell. I stepped in here for a little privacy. Brian Ortega is right there, right there. There, there, there is a two-inch door. Brian Ortega is standing on the other side of that door. And his team just spoke to me. They asked that I not have the camera. But they were open to share with me that the weight is fine. Uh, on point is an exact quote. So I can't tell you that he's on weight. I can't even tell you what he weighs. But I do know what on point means. And you just have a schedule. You have a schedule. And this will start as far as two weeks back what you're going to weigh right? two weeks ago on Friday, what you weighed last Friday at noon, what you weigh the Sunday before. So when you talk about on point, I would guess that means that Ortega's within 10 pounds. So the reason I bring that to you is this in many ways is turning into the people's main event. Like everywhere I go, this is the match. Lopez Ortega, this is the match that keeps on coming up. Greatly in front of Grosso versus Shevchenko. Surprisingly, in my own experience, in front of O'Malley and Maram. This is the fight. Lopez Ortega. I feel it too. I feel it too to some degree. But guys, this is the under-promoted fight of 2024. This is the story. This is the backstory. It was already meant to be done once. Now, so it's it basically it's getting double, double the budget, double the opportunity, double the marketing, double the headlines. I'll tell you what, there is not much of a push on this. And I'm just here to ask you why. Does somebody in the know not believe we're going to get this fight in the ring? Is there a reason that I'm having to stand in a stairwell and give you an update and I'm, I'm having to tell you words like he's on point while he's standing right there, I'm holding the camera, he asked me to not have the camera on. Is there a reason that I'm told to term like on point as opposed to be, being told he's got eight and a half pounds to go? Just for example, and when these two were first supposed to fight, it was International Fight Week in June 29th of this year, just to remind you, but I remember where I was. I remember where I was when I got the news that Ortega had called at three in the morning and woke up Lopez's team to say this fight goes off at 155. I, re I remember this whole thing. So at that time, the week of June 29th of this year, I was coming to you guys and I was telling you, my partners over at DraftKings have this wrong. They have Brian Ortega as the underdog and that is wrong. Brian Ortega is going to beat Diego Lopez. I'm not here to reverse that opinion. I'm just here to tell you that I'm not going to argue with the odds makers right now, who now have Lopez at a two to one. And Lopez has on DraftKings even hit a two and a half to one. And the question becomes, why did Ortega miss weight? That's the entire question, right? Because what you weigh, the physiology of that is quite simply calories into calories out. So if you got too many pounds because you had too many calories, is it because you ate too much or you didn't train enough? And as, as simplistic as a question as it might be, Ortega has already hinted that he'd like to go up to 155. He's already said, and I quote, that a blueprint to get to a championship is clearer at 155 than it is for him at 145. I like him at 55. I like the idea. I like everything that he's saying. But as a former athlete, I can tell you, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. They're telling me that he's on point 
and asked me to not have the cameras roll, and I gotta come stand in a stairwell and tell you what they said. Does somebody believe this fight isn't gonna happen? Does somebody believe he's not going to get to this weight limit? And by the way, why would you? You're a two-to-one dog against a guy like Lopez has everything, right? Lopez has the power, he's got a gimmick, he's got the goofy haircut, you guys like him, showed up on short notice against Dan 50K Ige. Like, there's a lot of things in the Lopez bucket. It's missing one, a win over a name opponent. That name opponent is Brian Ortega and is standing right in front of him. If you're in Ortega's shoes, what motivation do you have to get down to the weight? Not to mention, you already tested this two months ago. You tested the fact that you could call the guy in the middle of the night and tell him, spot me 10 pounds, and he's going to say, okay. If you get down to 145, but you yourself believe that you're going to do your best work and your finest opportunities exist at 155, meaning this might be a one and done and up we go, why? Why do it? And I'm asking questions, I'm not answering them. Like, my feelings aren't hurt that I got turned away. They truly aren't. I'm just sharing with you. This is the under-promoted fight of 2024. You guys want it. I want it. The athletes appear to want it. Does somebody believe they can't deliver it? Does somebody not have a full confidence that we can get this fight to the ring?